Hi, Arba. Oh, Ivo. About the potion. Ar. Do you know how I could get my hands on some honey? Try the kitchens. I prefer not to wander through the castle. Ah, of course. Someone would tell your mother. Would that beehive in the tree over there be of any help? Oh, I'd be careful with that. The bees defend their honey and can give you a nasty sting. Couldn't they be distracted or tricked in some way? Beekeepers wear protective clothes and use smoke that calms the bees. But I don't have any beekeeper kit here. I just let the bees keep their honey and they pollinate my flowers. That's how we've always done it. There's something else. See you later, Arba. See ya. Hi, Arba. Oh, Ivo. About the potion. Ar. There's something else. See you later, Arba. See ya. Perhaps I can help Arba solve the problem with that flower. Let's take a look. Hmm. This plant reminds me of the one that Arba's having problems with at the moment. Love lily. The love lily enters into an enduring relationship with another plant very early in its life, which frequently lasts its lifetime. If the partner plant dies, then the love lily does not normally survive the separation. The door can be opened easily from the outside. If it was up to me, it would stay open. Hmm, this flower was given to us by the fairies, just like the love lily down in the garden. I bet they belong together. Look, do you know this flower? Ha <laughs> ha ha! You did well, girl. It would appear so. You snivelling girl? You all right? Um, no. Yes. I don't know. Well then, I think I've earned myself a little rest now. Pipe smoke seems to have calmed them down a bit.
The smoke from Arba's pipe seems to be calming the bees. This is my chance. Hey now, you all right there? Um, sorry, had to do it. Well, I'm not happy about this destruction of nature. Not unless I get half of that there honey. I don't need any more. The rest is for you. Mm. Oh, that'd be good stuff. But that's enough. The bees need a bit too. Isn't that just lovely? Two plants that have found each other and want to spend the rest of their lives together. That's Arba's little spade. He always leaves his stuff all over the garden, which of course drives Mother mad. Oh, that fruit smells really sour. About one spoon of honey. Thanks for the sacrifice, little fish. Water's the easiest ingredient to find. We have copious amounts of it here. That should do it. The medicine book reckoned that it should be a viscous potion. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that there's never been anything so utterly revolting concocted in the elf burrow ever. Oh, I hope this is some kind of joke. Hi. Well, what's up? The potion's ready, but you don't seriously expect me to drink it, do you? You must. Cheap, I'm so... Yes, I know, but... This, um, <clears throat> medicine. Well, I did tell you that I wasn't feeling well, and the medicine book here thinks it could be something serious. She has to drink it, the sour metis fruit, sweet honey and salty fish. That should give us an answer. Oh, it looks revolting. It is medicine. It's not supposed to taste nice. That's right. Down to the last drop. Hmm. Not as bad as I was expecting. In actual fact, it's quite tasty. I could definitely drink another glass of that. 
Congratulations, Ivo. You are pregnant. No, 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 no. That is completely impossible. You must be wrong. Surely it's a misdiagnosis. You are an elf and say that potion is quite tasty. I could definitely drink another glass of that. That's raging hormones talking. I don't have any hormones. I... <whistles> Cheap, no. No, the book has made a mistake. I cannot be pregnant. I've never stood in the divine water with Nate on Midsummer's Night singing the Song of Life. Why? How do humans do it? They do what? Elves and humans can have children together, but it's not possible without sex. You see? We never had sex. At least not to my knowledge. But the diagnosis is crystal clear. Let's just pretend that I am pregnant. There must be some explanation, rational or otherwise. If we discount the possibility that the child was conceived by natural means, which would certainly appear to be the case here, then that leaves us with just the unconventional conception methods. Did you, perhaps, make some kind of pact with a goblin regarding the child? Child in exchange for gold or a kingdom, for example? No. Has a god in the guise of a bull appeared to you in your dreams? Any angels been having a word with you? No. Have any stars fallen from the heavens recently? No, not that I'm aware of. Hmm. Then that just leaves magic or a curse. But unfortunately, that is not my area of expertise. I wish it was so cheap, but my feeling is that the book is right. I am pregnant. I'm not sure how, and I'm not sure why, but it would appear that I'm pregnant. And as all other possibilities have been eliminated, then it must be a curse that's responsible. That is fantastic! No, no, of course I didn't mean it like that. But just think. Me. Cursed. That sounds like an adventure. <whistles> totally obvious what we need to do now. We ask Archmage Alistair. He's the wisest magician in the realm of man, and he's a friend. He'll be able to tell us what it means. <whistles> oh, no, you don't. You remember who was meant to be looking after me so that nothing happens to me, don't you? Alistair's sure to have the answers. We'll have to track him down in the Mage Tower in Seastone. Only, how are we going to get there? Seastone is days away from here. <whistles> oh yeah, saying fly is all well and good. Are you going to teach me quickly then? No, we need a fast mode of transport. And then there's the small matter of the Border Watch. Their longbows can take out a fly's eye at 400 metres. And they will shoot if said fly should dare to set foot in or leave the woodland realm without permission. One thing's certain. Mother must never find out about this. I don't know either. Do you think that my tummy will start to show? 
Oh, wh You don't by any chance know the password that the Border Watch use? Uh, typical. That's exactly the problem. Mother chooses a new password every single day, and there's no way I'll get it out of her. Oh, why don't you know the password? You normally know everything. Hey, know it all. Mother's mirror. It knows more than you. It must know the password. <coughs> if we work as a team, we should be able to cast a little light on the matter cheap. After all, if it is a curse, then I'm the victim, not the perpetrator. <coughs> well, yes, I know that. She'll blame us whatever happens. But it's best for us to have some answers rather than just presenting her the facts, don't you think? Transport and the password. Let's go. Hi. Well, what's up? You were interrupted just now, when you were going to tell me about sex. Indeed. Someone is of the opinion that a princess does not need to know about such things. Oh, come on, tell me. I could tell you a lot about it, but it would be unwise for me to annoy your parents. They could burn me, or even worse, give me to a public library. How do elf pregnancies progress? They are very similar to human pregnancies, only they take a lot longer, about four years. You are presumably in the sixth month. And if I go into the world of humans to talk to the Archmage, a time in the human world passes quicker. Hmm, then your pregnancy will go faster, that's for certain. The consequences are difficult to predict. I am not aware of an elf ever having a child outside of the woodland realm. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. If everything goes to plan, then I'll be back in a couple of days and we'll know what's happened. That would be advisable. Pregnancy can play havoc with the body and mind. It does not take a lot of imagination to work out what a turbo pregnancy in the human world would do to an elf. Thank you for your help. That's what I'm here for. You're having a good time, I see. What can I do for you? Tell me, you know a bit about nature, don't you? How does this childbearing stuff work exactly? Oh, don't know. Ask myself the same question. The bees pollinate the flowers. The flower seeds are carried away by the wind and new plants grow. Very simple and easy, that. But elves, humans and dwarves don't produce nectar. What have you got to offer the bees? Yeah, and also our children don't grow in the earth. They grow in us. Oh, I know. Isn't it absurd? Do you know how to cast a spell over a magic mirror? Do I look like a magician or priest? Perhaps you saw Mother doing it sometime. Arr, many times. She tips water from three different vessels into the bowl and then mumbles a bit to herself. Some kind of elf priestess magic nonsense. I don't know nothing about that. Mm, me neither. I have to get on. Don't work too hard. Arp, that I won't. An all-knowing mirror. In the current situation, that would be more than useful. The only question is how to cast a spell over the mirror. I've never done that before. Hmm. 
Hmm, there are three symbols on the bottom of the bowl. I wonder what they mean. They're the same ones as the columns in the throne room. Each symbol depicts a droplet. Sometimes there's a line underneath it, sometimes above, and here is a circle going through the droplet. Haven't got a clue what they mean. I have seen these symbols once before, up in the throne room if I'm not mistaken. Nothing for it. Have to talk to Pa. Ivo, I thought that we'd agreed that you would stay in your room. I'm pr... pr... What are you, my darling? Pr pretty. I am pretty. But of course you are. You are my daughter and an elf princess. So you disobeyed me just to tell me this. I just left my room to do a bit of training. Mm-hmm. You said yourself I've put on a few pounds, and I'm not going to get rid of them by lying around on my bed all day. Where does this sudden insight come from? I can't keep asking myself what to do with my life. Perhaps marriage isn't such a bad idea. It most certainly isn't. And if you train diligently, I'm sure Prince Lalilos will like you a lot. Of course. Fine. I would love to help you, but I'm most dreadfully busy. A kind of epidemic seems to have broken out in Seastone. An epidemic in Seastone? It's strange. We're getting reports from the whole of the Middle Kingdom. Objects and beings have been... changed. What do you mean? The situation isn't clear. It appears as if some kind of terrible power is gradually moving through the whole land, changing it. Do you remember the story of the Nothing? A big blackness that gradually swallowed a fairy kingdom bit by bit. Of course. This time it is much worse. It is pink. An epidemic in Seastone. Is it wise for me, and it, to go there? On the other hand, Wilbur and the Archmajor in Seastone. Perhaps I can help them to fight the epidemic in exchange for them helping me with my problem. <laughs> 